so close. My God. Are you ready to go? We, yeah, have, let's go? we have to leave soon. Do you have your pass? All right, here, take this. So we are headed to the to the Nokia Theater. It's in Times Square. And oh, are we on? You're rolling? Oh, my God. Okay. We're going, guys, to the Nokia Theater to interview Sherwood. They have an album coming out March 13th. So we're going to talk to them and scare them a little bit. People know that I kind of ask really bizarre questions, so I think they're a little scared of my arrival, but I think it'll be fun. I think they'll be up to the challenge. It's um, Reliant K, May, and Sherwood, and um, it's an all-ages show, so it should be lots of fun. We're probably going to get there late, so why don't we head out and um, we'll, we'll pick back up at the theater. Hey, you guys. It's Erica. We're in a cab in New York City. It is freezing right now. I'm talking like 30 below zero. We couldn't find parking for about an hour. We almost missed the show, but I just found out Sherwood is about to go on stage, and we're going to talk to them and ask them all sorts of insane questions. So let's go. My name is Erica. Hi, I am Erica. We are at the Nokia Theater March 9th, and I'm hanging out with the boys of Sherwood. So what's up? Hi. How you doing? Wonderful. I love your glasses. Thank you. I like yours as well. Yeah, and where are your glasses, by the way? Mine are in the RV, which is... Do you really wear glasses? Yes. And what's the choice, you know, who is the inspiration besides Justin Timberlake? Wow. Um, Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder, yeah. interesting. Circa... Circa... Mm, Willy Wonka. Willow, that's what yeah. I was going to say, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, and how old are you? 23. 23? Oh, so you're young. Um, I could be your mother. Relatively, yes. relatively, I'm young. And how old are you? 25. You're 25, so you are the elder statesman. Uh, in in this group, yes. Yes. Okay. And what are the ages of the other guys of the band? Um, twenty three. Uh, we have two other guys that are twenty three, and our singer's twenty six. Mm -hmm. And where are you guys from? We're from Central California. Central California. So what is it like when you come to play in New York City? We're in Times Square, the middle of the one of the craziest cities. How do you feel about it? Um, I feel like there's a lack of blonde people here. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. What? Why? And you Based know what's on what? Is yeah. Everyone is so much more like witty and sarcastic on yes. the East Coast. Well, I think don't don't take me as an example. I'm to the like you know no, no, hundred tenth. Power, everybody yeah. we meet from like the people helping us like unload our gear. Uh -huh. I was just like there were like stage people helping us, <laughs> and I was like trying to tell him how to how to do, it, and he was like, "Look, man." I've been doing this since you in diapers, yeah. so uh, just lay off me. And I'm like, I'm, oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm when did you come out? <laughs> Excuse me? When did you come out of the closet? Our seating uh, was out on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> Tell me a fantasy that that's, nobody knows. Oh, that's too abrupt. i got to think about this. Okay. One. All right, so you think. I'll get back to you, okay? okay? You uh, think. Tell me what you're afraid of. Oh, I am afraid of the dark. I have to listen to music. Okay. It's scary. So I'm picturing this right now. So it's really dark. You're on the tour bus. Everyone's sleeping. And you, you have you have you're naked. You got Britney Spears blasting in your headphones, mm -hmm. and you and you slowly lull off to sleep. Mm -hmm. But oh. Britney Spears is like her early stuff. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, Oops I, I did it again. again. Okay, so if you had to choose between AC Slater or Uncle Jesse, who would it be? You know, Uncle Jesse was a dork in high school, but yeah. after high school, he was cool. Yeah, he was yeah. totally cool. AC Slater gets to college, realizes that muscles aren't cool anymore. And becomes an emo kid. That's oh. what happens to AC Slater. <laughs> okay, you got that down pat. All right, so if you had to choose between the Smiths or the Cure, who would it be? Interesting. Um, earlier, I would say the Cure. Okay. And over time, the Smiths. Okay. Um, playing live or having sex? If I would have to choose, wow. Um, I would say playing. Ah, uh, shit. This is supposed to be a fast round, but you're taking very long time. <laughs> a long, long time. These are tough dilemmas. Yeah. Nobody cheers me on. But at least, you know what? Sex. As Jews, you have you, you really think ethically about things. You have good ethics. You, you, do. you can't just come like to a, you know to a quick answer. Well, no, because yeah, I'm just thinking like my mother's watching. Playing live. Playing live. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's why you're in a band. So yeah, rock on. It's like having sex with my keyboard. Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, it's no, like, that's what it is. You have to intimately know what your the instrument that you are working okay. with, so that you can just bring out its full potential. I always ask band members what were they doing in their room at 13 or 14, and so many of them say, "I was just sitting in my room. I didn't. I felt bad about myself or whatever." And they just that's when they really got into music, and that's and now look at you now, you know, and look at the football players who were so cool and they were so whatever. They turn out to be the people that just never go anywhere. It's true, but they do have Xbox. Our drummer shaves his body. Really? Do you do it? No, I don't. Oh, I you don't. don't. But no, do so, you do it for him, I meant? No, no, no. He does it all on his own. So I'm just wondering what? if it's, is it is it a part of your fantasy? I'm just, I'm putting you on the spot, Joe. Okay. I, okay, 
Because you actually seem like you have a lot of hair. Just, yeah, so I think that to say that I shave my body is somewhat misleading. I, I kind of shave like my, my chest. Yeah. And down a little bit. Oh my god. But not like everything. Wow. Would you be someone that would take a picture of yourself and then just leak it accidentally on the internet? No way. Like a certain band? Like the Wentz? No. I yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm actually not very vain. If that's vain. Okay. I don't know if that's vain to say. Yeah, no, no, but, uh, right. I, it I, seems I don't like... take a lot of pictures of myself. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that explains the huge portrait of your house when you walk into your uh, the, of yourself when you walk into your house. You told me. Yeah. yeah. I actually just heard that like Paris Hilton, she had a birthday party, and I don't ask me, were you there? Yeah, totally. Was amazing. Well, all of the guests were like shocked because they walked into their house and there was like a twelve by twelve picture of just herself like this. Really? And then they handed out pens and it just said Paris. Then they walk into the next room and there's another picture of her everywhere and everything is just Paris, Paris, Paris. That's great. I mean, she's a great self marketer. She probably doesn't have a lot of friends. Right. Down. So we, we rented a house in Mexico, mm -hmm. and... Um, Is that where you recorded it, or...? No, we wrote it. for We, we spent, okay. like, six weeks there. Did you sneak into, like, Cancun and do a little crazy partying that you never did? <laughs> um, yeah, we actually went to a club. We went to, um... We went to Papa's and Beer in oh, Ensenada, really? huh. and like the the local like band that was playing, like this like girl was singing, and we were all like dancing in the front just with all the local Mexicans, and like the girl on stage That's like cool. points at me, she like pulls me up on stage. Oh, did you do a little Latin dance? I did. Yeah, I was just like I, I love I Latin like, dancing. I was just like getting down, and then about like thirty seconds into it, wow. she, they, she was like saying something in Spanish that kind of got the whole crowd to laugh. Okay. And I so you just don't know just, what like, it was? No, it was like crazy white boy or uh -huh. like they were. Basically making fun of me, but right. it was okay. Calling you some derogatory yeah, term. But I, I was just like, oh, you you don't know that we're in Sherwood. No, right. it's okay, people. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I would say that maybe deep down, like whatever your whatever you really want to do with your life, mm -hmm. if you want it bad enough, there's always a way to make it happen. Okay. Like we dropped out okay. of college. Wow. We we for like two years we were selling our CDs like in malls. Really. In order to pay for like, in order to pay to get to the next show, we weren't making enough money at shows. We were mm -hmm. playing for like 20 people a night. We were just, we just kept at it. Okay. And we just, and uh... Wait, so you, you sold them in Victoria's Secrets? Yeah, I just stood outside with a CD player. Right, in the bra right. section. Mm -hmm. In A, B, or C, which which section? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I really, there's, Sherwood isn't partial. Okay. You know, we're right. not... It could be anything, okay. Yeah. I'm more partial to the smaller, to the, to the A's and the B's. I don't know why. I don't Me do too. the whole double D thing. Not that I'm a lesbian, just just for the record. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Okay. That's true. There's just some there's some connection with double D and like light mustache hair. I don't know. What? If that's true. <laughs> but really? no, I'm just kidding. Okay. I, that was like a joke. Okay. Wow. okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your album is coming out on March 13th, a different light. Check it out. And I want to thank you guys so much for meeting with me. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for having Thanks a lot. I am Erica. Hey, I'm Joe from Sherwood. I am Erica. Hello, my name is Mike, and I am Erica. It's nice to meet you. Very nice. What band are you in? I'm in the band called Sherwood. We are. Uh, we have a record come out on March 13th. It's very good. And I am Erica again. Hello. I'm. I'm Mike. And I'm I am Mike. Mike. <laughs> Okay, take a sip. <laughs> oh, he wow, what a good Jew, right? He actually had a bar mitzvah and I did not. Yeah, oh, really? Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, it was really interesting. Okay, so you're not a man yet? Technically, no. Yeah. I'm waiting. So wait so much, Joe. It would explain so much. Okay. Still waiting for the day. Right, when do you think that you're going to make that transition from a boy to a man? Uh, as soon as I start paying for my own car insurance. Okay, right. And you lose your virginity. Yes. Yes. Whichever comes first.